Hey morning YouTubers. It's it's a beautiful Saturday today and and probably for the second time I've had something off my car stolen and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to steal something like this. Less than half a second, it's gone. Something like this is going to run you about $15 at the dealership um, on eBay and Amazon. They're all about the same price. Um, it's super cheap. Uh, do I care if it gets stolen? I think there's an annoyance factor in it. Let's put it back there. Like I said, the thing is only $12, $13, $14, $15. Bucks. You can find them on Amazon, eBay, or whatever. Uh, they're fairly cheap. It's not like a a hundred dollar item where you're gonna start flipping if uh, if it gets stolen off your car it's it's fairly cheap but like I said there's an annoyance factor in this and, and every time somebody comes by and steals it um, it pisses you off because you got to go out and, and buy another one right it's and fifteen dollars does add up over time um, and and you kind of have to waste your gas driving around trying to find out who in your neighborhood drives a Lexus that has one of these things on their car and you got to flatten their tires or key up their car and I think I already flattened about seven Lexuses in my neighborhood but it just gets tiresome you you you, you start having a, an epiphany and and realize that what you're doing is wrong even though what they're doing is wrong right and plus you're wasting a lot of gas driving a v8 around your neighborhood trying to look for this trying to find out who's who's been stealing your shit <clears throat> and then nine out of ten times you're you're keying up the wrong car and <laughs> sorry about that well anyways I have a solution on how um, your tow hitch cover plug doesn't get stolen anymore. So follow me guys. So what we're going to need for this project is of course you're going to need your tow hitch plug right here. We are going to read it upside up just like this, right side up just like this and we're going to flip it over exactly how it reads. Okay. Next one you're going to need your tow hitch receiver lock pin right here. You're going to probably need this later on. You don't need this for this project right now. Let's set this aside. You're going to need about three of these, okay? Unless you find a more creative way to do this. I'm sure you will. Three of these and the size of this is about, they're about three inches long and about one and three quarters wide, okay? You're going to need about three of this. Make sure all the spring class work, okay? You don't want it to get stuck and rusted on you while you're doing this project or else you'll be screwed, okay? And you're going to need a tube of liquid nails, liquid nails. So let's go ahead and open this sucker. Okay, guys, it's been overnight. The thing has cured, okay? It's cured correctly centered just like this. I already went ahead and took off these hook clasps okay you just take them off you won't be need them anymore so if you take a look see there's the Lexus symbol let's go ahead and go to the car first go ahead and let's open up the tube here I'm just gonna cut off about half an inch off right there and at the end of your little thingamajig tool here you got a little sharp point right here you're gonna stick it in there and you're going to open it up break open the seal okay once you break open the seal you can go ahead and flap this back into place well you're gonna wipe that first but I'll wipe it later okay and you're gonna put it inside your little tube dispenser here and you're gonna start squeezing once you start squeezing remember to have the Lexus logo this way just like this the reason being is because this thing the small end is gonna go in first and it's gonna go in just like this okay but before you do that, you're going to take this and you are going to clasp it on here. Okay, you're going to take one of your clasps and you're going to take another one and you're going to go ahead and engage it in there. Okay, the big end goes in. You're going to take another one, take the big end, make it go in. Just like that. The big ends are linked on to there and you want to have this big end facing up. Okay. 
and remember the letters are oops this is upside down the letters are like that you're going to want this thing right here to be pointing up and down just like that up and down just like that you see that okay so let's go ahead and fill this sucker up with liquid nails I'm going to only fill up halfway. Okay, you don't need to go all the way to the top. There's no need to go all the way to the top. Just halfway, fill it up halfway. Okay. Once you fill it halfway, remember, look at your letters. Your letters, okay? Your letters going to go like this. Okay? And this thing right here, this big hook is going to go sideways up like this in a vertical position. So you're going to stick it in there. Make sure that the center one is the only one that's going in. Okay? And you're going to use your two clasps on the side just to hold it into place, just like that. You want to make sure you look upwards, just like that, to make sure it's straight. At every single angle, make sure it's straight. Okay? And make sure this thing is all the way inside, all the way inside. So while it is drying up, do not. Do not move it. Do not let anybody into the garage and hit this and it's going to end up shifting and it's going to dry in a shifted position and you're screwed. You're going to have to buy a brand new one. Leave it dried like this, okay? It's going to dry fairly quick. Liquid Nails has a dry time of, uh, let me see here, I don't know, just read it yourself. But anyways, just let it dry just like this and we will come back to it, okay? Okay, folks, it's been about two hours. I went back out to the garage to make sure that nothing has moved. Nothing has shifted. Everything is completely straight. This, this ring right here is exactly in the same position I left it at. Okay, so let's go ahead and nudge it a little bit to make sure it's dried up. And I could tell that it's still moving a little bit, so I'm going to leave it for a couple more hours. You're going to take this with Lexus facing up just like that. You're going to go ahead and scoop this inside here. You're going to take your, your lock pins. You're going to slide it through the center just like this. Solved. That thing ain't going to be pulling off with that concrete glue in there. It's stuck in there, guys. And that's what I want. Let's go ahead and take it back out there. There you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Alright.